Village have joined a mass protest in Westminster against the government's decision to axe the Building Schools for the Future programme. Kent was one of the biggest casualties of the cuts, with plans to rebuild nearly 50 of the county schools scrapped. Well, today pupils from Hartsdown Technology College in Margate said they felt let down by the decision. Sarah Smith joins us live from Westminster now. And Sarah, I think they were particularly disappointed, the pupils from uh, Hartsdown, weren't they? They were because they were so close to seeing this work done. They were talking details, the school, with the architects on the day the news came through. They were expecting the builders to start in three months' time. They said today, when the news did come through, that it was all, already all being scrapped, that it was though a message was being sent to the pupils and to Margate in general that they just weren't worth it. They thought these 1950s buildings were on their way out, but earlier this month at Hartsdown, they found out the plan for their new school had been scrapped. You could have heard a pin drop, and we were supposed to be having a senior management meeting, and we just sat there, and the students just kept coming and asking, is it true, is it true? And this that was their home time, but they'd also heard the bad news. It wasn't just staff here in Westminster today. Pupils too joined the protest, feeling their corner of Thanet has been neglected for too long. We're in between two schools and they've both been rebuilt, so we're in the middle, so we're the only one like, nearly left in our area. It's been a bit stuck and we quite need it. Yeah, it does matter because it'll make the school a better environment for our learning. The height when we found out we was getting a new school was absolutely massive. Everybody had something to work towards and when we found out it wasn't, everybody's self-esteem and belief in the school just sank completely obviously because there's nothing to work towards anymore. The coalition government says the building programme had to go because it was wasteful and badly carried out. Then its Conservative MP agrees. Uh, head teachers have told me that if the money that had been spent on bureaucracy, repeatedly submitting plans, time wasting, had been spent on bricks and mortar, then schools like Hartstown would have been rebuilt by now. That's not value for money. After their rally, delegations from schools around the country marched past the Department for Education. One point they wanted to make, while their building programmes have been scrapped, refurbishment work here continues. Well, tomorrow a delegation from another Kent school is on its way here to Westminster. At Skinner's Kent Academy from Tunbridge Wells, they'll be armed with a petition of more than a thousand uh, signatures objecting to work on their school being axed, and they're unlikely to be the last. Okay, so